Okay, so here we are on our cPanel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your very own email account of your domain name. So let's just say, for example, you wanted to have Laura at instantmailing.com because your website is called Instant Mailing. You would come down here to the mail and select email accounts. On the right here, you'll see where you can drop down a box which has got all of your domain names and yours is probably going to be a lot fewer than mine. So today I will set up an email address for my beginners blogging domain. I would avoid using info, the word info at, for the reason that Facebook won't actually allow you to put an info email address into your own information in your Facebook account. And it's really important if you're going to be marketing with Facebook that you can put a professional looking email address in there. So I will use for today's example, cat at beginnersblogging.com. Set up a password. And choose to make it unlimited and you can create that account. Okay, now I've already got, now I've got my very own cat at beginnersblogging.com. Very exciting, it's completely super easy, isn't it? So you don't have to be paying all these expensive fees to do these little things yourself. Okay, so now we want to set it up in your mail account. So come over here. So that way if you're using Microsoft Outlook or iMail or whatever your email program is, you can have these messages delivered straight to your inbox so you're not having to come online and do it. So we're going to choose to configure our email client. And HostMonster is fantastic because they do video tutorials for everything. So if you get stuck, you can simply click on this button and it'll show you an example of how they say to do it. Okay, so I use Mail, which is on Mac. Go to File and then you go to it's Mail and then Preferences. And if you're on a Windows machine, it will be File and then Add Account or Preferences. So click Add Account here and my full name and then my email address is cat at beginnersblogging.com and put in the password that I just made when I set the email account up. Hit continue. Okay, it's uh, I'm at and I'm going to do cat at bb just so this description is so you know which mailbox it is when you're over here looking at your different email addresses. Okay, so on this page it's got incoming mail server name. So we'll right click, copy, and put that there. And we'll go back now to the username, copy that. Password, so we hit continue. Okay, now it's asking for our outgoing mail server, so we can do the same thing. Client copy. And the description here, we can just have the same. We're not going to use authentication and we hit Okay, here you go. Here's the email, it's landed.